Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back again with the ANET ET4. Some people ask about those advanced settings in the configuration menu, so let's get cracking. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's hit that configuration option, and let's go to configuration, and let's see what's in the advanced settings. So, we can do home offsets, velocity, acceleration, junction dev, probe offsets, steps per millimeter, temperature, filament, and stop abort, so we can shut that on or off, and we can initialize, which is one thing that Vert always said to do after he put a new firmware. So those are all of the options. Let's take a look at one of them. A lot of people ask about steps because they want to change the calibration to actually get more accurate prints. This is how easy it is to get in here and adjust. When you click on it, you click on it again, and you can change by two tenths for each click to adjust yours. I'm not going to adjust mine yet because I really haven't played with it enough, but I'm going to go back and let's slide through and see what something else looks like. If we check the temperature one, it's got auto temp off, it's got the min, it's got the max. Let's see if there are other pages. Yes, we can input our own auto tune settings. Uh, it's got a setting for auto tune. If we tap that and tap it twice, it lets us pick the temperature that we want. And after a moment, it pops out and it's actually doing that because you can actually see the extruder heating up. So we just enabled the auto tune and I'll let it run through those settings and then we'll move on with the video. And you can see right there, the auto tune is complete. Let's dive back into those settings again. I'm going to hit configuration and I'm not sure if I have to do this, but I want to hit store settings just in case. And then we'll go back and you can see when we back out, it tells us the settings were stored. Alrighty friends, I'm going to try and keep these short and sweet. If you got a question about the ANET ET4, just add it in the comments. I'll try and make a quick video so that we can learn all the things we're wondering about with this sweet little machine. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.